All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Growing Guitar and to a little different song from Caged Elephant. This one is called Out Loud. So I think this is the first time for Caged Elephant here on Growing Guitar. They deserve the spot here. So let's take a look at this song. This is a piano based song. All right, so we're going to work with just straight downs. All right, that is a very easy scenario for us. The challenge here will be all the chord switches, but we only have five chords. So we're really gonna hammer these chords a lot back and forth. So let's start this song with cape on third, important here. That's the best scenario. So cape on third, let's go over the chords. Starting with E, that is open E, second A, second D, first G, open B, and open E. Then we have A sus, and that is open A, second D, second G, open B, and open E. You could go with the straight A, and then you have to add the second B string there. I go with open, I feel that like that is more accurate. So, E and A so far, now over to the final three chords, and we have three bar chords. Starting here with the C sharp minor. That's a bar chord, you play the bar on the 4th fret, you place your index finger there and you bar all strings except for the last E string, you don't have to bar the last E. But just uh, 5 strings below you have to, and then you need to add 6 on D, 6 on G, and 5th on B. That's a C sharp minor. Then you go over to the B sus version. It's very similar to the C, C sharp. You have now the bar finger on the second fret, same strings, the five strings, and then you need to add fourth on D and fourth on G. There you have the B chord. And then you had F sharp minor. You're still there with the bar finger on the second fret. This time you need to bar all strings there. So all strings on the second fret, bar, and then you need to add fourth on A and fourth on D. And uh, there you have all the chords. E, A, C sharp, B, and F sharp. That is what we're gonna work with. Like I said, just straight down, so we can start immediately here with the verse play. The verse play is um, about several rows, so to speak. So we're gonna start with the first row in this verse. So that is E2, A1, and E4. You're gonna play that part for two rounds. Okay, so two rounds of that, E2, A1, and E4. Then you're gonna continue, still in the first verse, you're gonna play F sharp two, B sus two, C sharp minor two, and A4. You play it for all of this one round. So you're gonna play. And the final row into this verse is to end with F sharp two, B sus one, and E four. That is the end of the verse. So to summarize this one, it was E2, A2, and E4 for two rounds, then F sharp two, B sus two, C sharp two, and A4, F sharp two, B sus one, and E4. Over now to the pre-chorus and the lyrics, Chasing Down a Dream, I think that's where we are in the lyrics, that's the pre-chorus still. We're gonna play with just straight downs in the song. So. Uh, we're gonna play the pre-chorus and it's only for this one time in this song we have the pre-chorus. So it's the F sharp minor two, B sus two, C sharp minor two, and E two. Then you continue with F sharp minor two, B sus two, C sharp minor two, still the same there, but the final chord A four. So it, first half of it, is very similar to the second one. The only difference is the last chord, E2, and the second round we have A4. I'm gonna play through for it, and it goes like this. And 
that takes us to the chorus. In the lyrics, man, I really messed up now. So that is a feeling you have sometimes. We're gonna look at this and it it's very reminiscent of the verse plate has different rows to it. So the first row or line, or whatever we're gonna call it, goes F sharp one, B sus four, F sharp one, and B sus four. You're gonna play that for two rounds. So F, B, F, B is one round, and then you play it again, F, B, F, B, F, one, B, sus, four, like this. That's the first round, you play it for two rounds. Then you continue with C sharp two, B, sus, two, and then you're gonna go back to C sharp and play. You can either play three downs or try to play and get these notes. Or you can also just play the notes. So the notes are from the actual chord. So if you hold a bar there for the C sharp minor, you will have it on the fourth E string then let's see it will be seventh B string and then fifth B string but you have it all in the chord so that E string is barred then the seventh B will be just to reach out with a little pinky to the seventh B string and then you have the fifth built in with the chord again so that is the second row into this chorus part it was C sharp two downs B sus two and then back to C sharp either you go three downs or you're gonna pick these three notes and when you did that part you're gonna continue to play and stay on the C sharp minor and play another four downs that ends this row and I think I need to play it for you I'm gonna do that later but just to move on and finish this course, after we play the C sharp, we're gonna go and play F sharp one and B sus three. And that is the end of the course. Now, I'm gonna take you through this, all this, this full course from the beginning. So we're gonna start with F sharp, B sus, and all these parts. It goes like this. All right, so after that comes an instrumental part after this chorus, and it's just to play the verse, play the E2, A1, and E4 for one round. That is the first round out of everything. You go back and play the second round. Uh, it's uh, pretty similar, but we need to go over the second round here. It's not exactly the same as the first round. So back to first verse, you're gonna play E2, A1, and E4. You're gonna play that for two rounds in the same way as you played before. And also the F sharp two, B sus two, C sharp two, and A four. You wanna play it for this one round, but the ending of the verse two is a little bit different. So it goes F sharp two, then E2, and B sus four. So the final row there is where the difference happens in the second round, F2, E2, and B4. Then the second round doesn't have any pre-chorus. Remember, I said that was the one and only, the first one. So we jump right into the second chorus. So the second chorus is played almost in the same way as the first one. So we have the F sharp one, B sus four, F sharp one, B sus four for two rounds. That is the same. And the same goes with the second line as well, row, the C sharp two, B sus two, and the C sharp with the notes, then the four added downs to the C sharp. But then we have the final row there in the second chorus, 
it's a little bit different. The first one was F sharp one and B sus three only. Now we have F sharp one and B sus eight. Okay, so instead of three B sus, we have eight B sus there. And that is the end of the second course. And that takes us into not the instrumental part, but the bridge part. And we are now about two minutes and 18 seconds into this song. Okay, so chasing down a dream uh, is the lyrics. It's the same act as the second pre, uh, sorry, the first pre course. So you can look at this as the second pre course that comes after this course. Uh, anyway, this is a bridge part, in my opinion, because it's way longer than the pre course. So I think I'm just going to mention the chords for you uh, first, and then I'm going to play through for you everything. So we have E3, B1, C sharp 3, F1, C sharp 3, F1, then A4, F2, B2, C sharp 4, F2, B2, and C sharp 6. And that's it. So a lot of uh, numbers and letters. Let's play through. It goes like this. After that, you're gonna dive into the third round, and that is only the third course. So we're gonna start and play in the same way, uh, pretty much. When it comes to the first row, F1, B4, F1, B4, you're gonna play for two rounds, still, nothing changes there. And then you had a second row with you have this C sharp two, B sus two, and the C sharp with the notes. <laughs> this part and then C4 after it. You're gonna play that in the same way, but you're gonna play now the C sharp two, B sus two, and then when you come to this C sharp minor, you're gonna play it in the same way, all right? But then when you play it once, you're gonna play it again, okay? So you, for this final chorus, you're gonna play the C sharp here, first round. Again. One, two, three, four. That is how you handle it this final course. And then you're gonna play the final part here, which is the F sharp one and B sus three. Okay? So you play it in the same way as you played in the first course, this ending. But then you also have the song that ends now. So after you play this F sharp minor one and B sus three, you're gonna play the ending of it and it goes E2, then F sharp two, then A4, and you end on one down E chord, and that's it. So that is how Cage the Elephant out loud and uh, yeah, beautiful song, piano based, and that makes it just that easy to handle. Just downs, pretty simple chords, but a lot of switches. So that is a challenge. Give it a try. If you love it, then this is for you. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to support me on Growing Guitar. I appreciate that a lot. It gives me motivation to go on. So thank you for that. Until next time, play tuned.